I basically rebuilt the entire moving axis aircraft simulator. You'll notice that the uprights here are now two upright 2x4s. We're using a half inch uh, pivot here instead of three eighths. Added a significant amount of uh, structural uh, capability here so we're able to build this heavier and we have with double wide spars in the front and in the back heavier eye bolts and now an exterior frame we've also rebuilt the control arm it's lighter now but also accomplishes the same thing. So again, watch how we can move the control arm just a little bit and it changes the pitch attitude of the simulator significantly. We're experimenting with uh, sort of an outer frame here of two inch PVC plastic pipe. It's good, but it's not great. Uh, it still makes it a little difficult to get in and out of. We have to have this bottom piece, whether we do this with two by fours or with this plastic external frame. So this we can't get over, but now this is in the way. This external frame helps keep the front end of the simulator up, but now it's kind of in the way for people when they try to get in and out. <laughs> All right. It's starting to look more like a simulator now. I mean, I feel like I'm really inside something. You see, even with the added weight, I was able to keep the same, or, or at least close to the same pitch up and pitch down uh, capabilities we had with the lightweight simulator. I did this by moving, I had to move the CG forward, so I moved the seat forward one notch, and we also reduced the length of the chains here. So we're able to still get a high pitch up. You can really feel yourself being pushed back in the seat. And nose forward. I don't think we have as much nose forward movement. Or maybe my feet aren't as far forward as I think they should be. It's much wider now so we have more room for the control arm. And, of course, the throttle will go over here. Whoa! What was that? I like this external frame, but then on the other hand, it doesn't really look a lot like an airplane yet. It gets in the way because they think there should be some some sort of structure right here. But I, as you saw, I needed this wide open so I could get in and out. Still working on it. With the current weight of the simulator and the uh, the outer frame here, I did find it necessary to put just a little bit of ballast back here. That's five pounds. That's not very much at all. But it did change the, uh, the center of gravity uh, significantly. So what all this means is that we are able to add and subtract parts of the simulator very easily. This setup with the adjustable chains and the adjustable seat makes that possible. There's really not much of a limit to all the different configurations we can use here 
and, and still achieve the same thing, still achieve significant pitch up and pitch down just by basically an eight inch movement forward uh, and back combined for that joystick. That means four inches forward, four inches back is all I need to move that joystick to get significant pitch up, like maybe 25 degrees and maybe 15 to 20 degrees nose down. Now the frame might not seem all that interesting, but it is, because it is a separate piece. The uprights are separate from the bottom part of the frame here. You see how it's connected by a bolt right there, connected by a bolt right here. So I can make multiple frames for different widths of simulators, but still use the same uprights. That's what that means. Makes it more portable too. Actually, it had to be separate, otherwise I wouldn't be able to get it out of this room.